the day. Oh, the tiniest of mackerel ever. Look at that. <laughs> Chris, we're catching babies. Better than not catching anything. I mean, we need some keepers though. I just spent 10 minutes uh, <laughs> sorting out some old fishing here. Yeah. See, look at them all. I can see them. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you I'm gonna stay there too. I'm gonna see if I can get one more. Come on, guys, where'd you go? Oh, did I catch them by the tail? No. Oh, I did jig them. <laughs> well, we, can we call it considered that an actual catch? Right, right in your old uh, kisser. Human old pooper. Hot potato, right? Hot potato, yeah. I we'll won't take any chances. An inch short. All right, just made it to the spot. Got a hot tip from the fisherman. Quick trip to Cabela's this morning to buy these new little skirted mackerel rigs. And apparently, the mackerel are really good here because they're herring fishing and this is where they offload. I'm going to do a little bit of bottom bouncing jig in here, see if we can not locate some mackerel and then we'll do some casting. There we go, just got a hit. There we go, fish on guys. Can we get more than one? Oh, the other one didn't hit it. That's not a keeper here in Nova Scotia. They have a law 10 inches or bigger. I can tell right away this guy's not big enough. And you can see I don't want to touch them because they are full of scales and slimy, worse than pike. Bam. Just like that, we got our first macro. Let's get another one. Let's get a big juicy one. All right, am I recording? Yeah, we're good to go. Oh, just got another hit. Fish on. It's that fast, guys, literally. Oh, this one would be a keep, considered a keeper, I'm thinking. What do you think, Chris? I think he's a little small. A little small? Probably half an inch to an inch. All right. Fat, though, healthy fish. Fat, healthy fish. All right, let's get you guys a good look at a macro here. And then explain to you guys why we're here macro fishing. My hand is going to be so full after I'm done with this. All right. Now you see them squirming, eh? Well, this is an Atlantic macro. Woo! You can see they're very lively. And they're awesome for striped bass bait. So me and Chris are going to try and get a couple keepers. And I should show you how my hands get full of scales after this because it's crazy. Gotta bring the gotta bring the old rag out. Take off as many scales as possible. The one thing about macro fishing. Alright. Be nice to catch a keeper. There you go. Got one on the drop. Two. Two. Yeah. Bam. 
No keepers again, but now we're getting doubles. All right, let's get you overboard. Hey there, buddy. Boom, go. Actually, my one might have been very, very close. Yeah. Just as I remembered it. Scaly. Literally every cast at this point. There we go. Wow! There you go. There's one keeper. That was a good one, boys. Caught three on that one. Can't complain. No real technique to it. It's just jigging off the bottom. It's cool, kind of comes in and wraps around and just smash them as they go by it's effective it works so I got a fish on there I'm just trying to see if I can get a couple more to yeah, Pick up. The yeah, there's nothing else following. Damn it. Well, that, was easy. that was easy. 